Hey ladies and gents and welcome to the top 3 skills in Pro Evolution Soccer 2021. I'll not only be showing you how to perform the skills using the left and right analog sticks with auto feint on and off, but also explaining the best areas of the pitch and distance from the defender to start performing these skills. These are the top 3 skills because they have the highest success rate, they're the most responsive skills and they're also easy to pull off once you know how. By the end of this tutorial, and with a little practice, you'll be twisting defenders inside and out. The first effective skill we're going to look at is the step over. It's quite an easy skill to execute in terms of what buttons you need to press. However, it is quite tricky getting the timing just right, and it's perfect for when defenders are tracking back as you're seeing here with Van Dyke and just cutting inside. So this is with auto feint switched off. So you're holding your special controls button and rotating the right analog stick as you're seeing in the instructions in the bottom left hand corner. Let's slow this right down for you so you can see it live with the analog sticks, the Xbox controller and the PS4 controller. Just showing you the steps you need to take in order to perform the step over. Now with the step over, it's perfect when you are running at defenders because you can go either way. You can cut inside or go on the outside. I'd always recommend going on the outside, especially if there's nearby defenders, because the way the step over works is you push the ball ahead of you, meaning if I was to come inside, that player circled would easily win the ball off me. The beauty of the step over is it doesn't require a player skill, so any player can perform the step over. Executing the step over is all about timing and distance. It's an easy skill to perform, but it's understanding that distance between your player and the defender, as you're seeing in this diagram here, that's when you want to start executing the step over. Just remember if you have auto feint switched off, it's going to take you a few milliseconds longer to perform the skill. With auto feint switched on, it's just a case of holding your special controls button and flicking the right analog stick up and then pushing the left analog stick to turn. The next skill we're going to be looking at is the body feint. Now this for me has been one of the most effective skills over the last few iterations of the PEZ series and to me against the AI it is still the most effective skill in PEZ. There's a few reasons why I say that. One is any player can perform this skill. Two, it's super responsive so you can just leave it to the last second before a defender closes you down to skip past his challenge. So let's break this move down into a set of instructions that are going to be easy to follow. So you can see my controller in the bottom right hand corner. The first step is to release all of your controls and then you want to flick the left analog stick in the opposite direction that you actually want to go. And then pushing the left analog stick in the direction you actually wish to move the ball. So if we just take a closer look here, it's brilliant for cutting inside defenders exactly like this twisting them inside and out. And in this next clip, I want you to keep an eye on these two players that I've highlighted here. So it's best to use the body feint when you're either facing your opponent or they're running alongside you. Once again, release the left analog stick, flick the analog stick in the direction opposite that you actually want to go, and then push the left analog stick and hold in the direction you wish to move the ball. And look at the effect that's had on Manchester City. Those two players I highlighted earlier, look at their positions now. And that's just going to allow me to play it to the edge of the box to get a nice curled shot in on goal. So here we go with the camera behind the player. A little drop of the shoulder before laying it off to Joel Felix who tries to bend one into the far corner. When it comes to timing and a defender is running alongside you and you want to cut inside, just wait until you're sort of level. But when you are running at your opponent, then this is the sort of distance you want to release all of your controls. And this is the distance you want to be when you flick the left hand stick 90 degrees from the way the player is facing, but also in the opposite direction that you want to move the ball. And then finally, push and hold the left arm stick in the direction you wish to move the ball. I've applied sprint here just to push the ball out a little bit further wide as I'm preparing for a finesse shot. But look at that distance there. So you're sort of looking to draw that defender out before bending one into the corner. It doesn't matter if you've got auto feint on or off. And it also doesn't matter if you're an Xbox or PlayStation player because it's exactly the same controls. It's just using that left arm stick to do the body feint. I have to admit, this is a bit of a trademark messy move, isn't it? Sort of drop of the shoulder, shifts the ball before planting the ball into the top corner. I can't recommend this skill highly enough. It really is the best skill in PES 2021. Anyway, let's move on to the next skill. And finally, one of the most effective skills to be used online, but also effective offline too, is the La Croqueta, often referred to as the double touch. This skill is perfect when facing directly towards the defender, drawing them in as it's one of the most responsive skills in PES 2021. 
And the beauty is you'll find that it draws in the next defender and you're able to skip past them too. You can also use it in the wide areas to skip past a defender before getting a cross in. Or in the central midfield where you can just skip past a player and fire a shot off and goal. So the beauty is, is that when you do beat that defender, they have no chance to get back in. But you're also driving into that space that's available. So I'm going to break it down into a simple set of instructions. So first thing you need to do is release all your controls. Then you need to push the right analog stick 90 degrees from the way your player is facing and then push the left analog stick to the way your player is actually facing. It doesn't matter if you've got auto faint switched on or off as it's exactly the same controls. So releasing both analog sticks and then pushing the right analog stick 90 degrees from the way your player is facing, whether it's up or down, and then push the left analog stick in the direction your player is facing. So that was auto faint switched off and this is the auto faint switched on just to prove exactly what I'm talking about and also we've seen the upwards motion and the downwards motion of how you activate La Croqueta in slow motion. So this is the sort of distance you want to start releasing the analog sticks before performing La Croqueta. So it's a nice little space in between you and the defender and then that allows you to either have a shot on goal or feed one of your players. So extremely useful for driving into space. Anyway, that is all for me, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my future videos. That is the top three skills in PES 2021. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.